Usually my day begins at 6.45, which isn't the best start to the day, but I need to pray before 7.10, so I guess it isn't that bad. Does everyone get this nightmare where the whole world is stricken by a deadly pandemic and the stock markets plummet us all into a deep recession? And people fight over toilet paper and we all need to stay in our houses and the police have locked us into our homes and our loved ones are far away and I can't even do my medical skills at medical school and my GB placements are all messed up and my stewarding job has stopped and my mosque is closed and I need to make sit-down videos in my house. That's probably going to carry on. Then I remember that's basically real life well at least i gotta make videos now but on a serious note so many people in different countries have been affected way worse than me so i'm trying to be grateful and i'm honestly hoping that everyone's safe my thoughts are with those that have lost their job and now let's actually get into my day i'm up at seven and although i'm trying to reduce my screen time the crazy times we find ourselves in means that anxiety is basically over the roof it's too high and although I try to tell myself no Instagram or YouTube, I basically just end up on it. So after that, I check out my friend's YouTube channels, Dethenix and Abu Torab. The thing that I do want to mention is that I'm the owner of Medshark, and what you can see right now is my Be My ebook. And right now, what you can see is the Productive Muslim book by Sam Ferris, Tim Ferris. I don't know. I'm making the voice of, and I don't know, but it's a really, really good book, and it does bring statements by scholars like Ibn al-Qayyim and honestly they're so so good so if you haven't got the book do get it because it does help you don't need it but trust me it's really good and I do a little bit of strength training and I don't always do this I'm not going to lie to you it's just a little bit of flexing but it does allow for greater blood flow to other areas of the body almost like a cold shower that I don't have the bravery to be able to do it as often so basically I head to the kitchen and I'm just looking for something to just psych me up to do the anatomy lectures that I have to do today honestly there's so many bones out there from the mandible to the cranium to the frontal lobe periental lobe parietal lobe that's what you want to call it and especially on freshers week the breakup was basically an integration of PBL, histology, epidemiology and more. The lectures are not too hard but on a side note these coconut cakes my grandma gave to me are honestly so banging they're so so good. <laughs> Oh, they're so good. And just to plug something inside a video, I do have a tuition company that does tutor for A-level biology, chemistry, as well as physics. And I don't like mentioning this, but I am a medical student at Queen Mary University who did get A star AAB when it came to his A-levels as well as nine A stars at GCSE. So yeah, I don't like mentioning it, but people would like to see results in order to expect results. And after breakfast, I basically change into my amazing cozy jumper. And honestly, it's like a big yellow pole a bear and yeah it's honestly too nice and as i said in some of my previous videos if this is your first video okay go watch it after the video if this is your second or third or fourth video you're a traitor as i've said in some of my previous videos whenever it comes to a productive downtime sometimes i do leave my comfort zone and go to the campus library at qm people say it's necessary to change your working environment but for me if i'm being real with you guys i just go there for camera shots and just to spend time with abu Tarab as well as to look for a potential wife oh yeah yeah. But back to the video, my workspace and computer setup is far from tidy and wallahi if I'm being real, I'm not super rich so you're not going to see me with an amazing £6,000 desktop setup. But I'm also not going to relinquish myself from the duty of actually keeping my workspace clean. I'm working on it. This was shot when my mum was not at home because when she is at home, the house needs to be cleaned. But getting on to what you can see right now is the QM VLE which is essentially the virtual learning environment. There's a variety of synchronous as well as asynchronous lessons basically in English live and recorded lectures that one can watch and usually we have our timetable on Google Calendar which is a little bit more easier than the standard printout but like I was saying right now from what I've experienced from the first couple of weeks of medical school it's not too hard yes it can be sometimes very very tricky to keep up with the workload but god willing if you've got god on your side who's helping you and aiding you which is probably the majority of people watching this you know you can do it and the workload does sometimes overwhelm you anyway guys let's actually get to a scene where i'm speaking towards the camera with a little bit more energy so yeah how many times do you guys do that and that's so annoying so welcome back guys cringy stuff first year medical student with one and only all right so today basically the way that we're gonna do it is gonna go to the library do a little bit of studying but we know studying is probably probably not happening let's be real yeah it's like our little rest day today i guess kind of like looking the entire campus off also it's the first time that the weather is so dead here at queen mary so you know we're just gonna see what we can do right now the campus is looking empty bro i'm being look. real yeah look, bro, at, that, no look, at, look at that look at that look at that Hardly anyone there, but we got the canal side, um, what you call it, library Study that we're gonna space, go to. Basically. Yeah, I actually I don't, don't know. Right I've now, I'm not sure exactly where it is. 
I, I don't know. I usually I was on my bike in it when I was checking it, but I don't know. Walking, we didn't find the place yet. Every time you're a bad leader. Bro, I don't know where it is. Shush. You're the one who put but anyway, I don't I don't honestly I think it's over there, it's near the residency blocks. And um Abu Torab, I think you shouldn't sleep in the girls' houses. What are you doing? I'm, I'm messing around guys. I think it's over there. I think that's the reception. Probably gonna have to hide the camera as well because last time we you're just long, they're going to ask you for so many things. And you know what, we're even allowed to record you just that when they see an actual yeah, camera, exactly, they exactly, get scared, exactly. they think you're doing some kind of documentary or, mm, you know, all of that you're stuff. You're exposing basically. Queen Mary or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, if we were recording on our phone, they wouldn't say anything. Do you understand? This is probably we've, say got, we've got permission from the Queen Mary University London oh, students page. Oh, if damn. you know what I mean, yeah? If, if you guys, guys know, know what yeah. that is, yeah. you know what it is. It's basically a Queen Mary page that we have and we're basically the owners of it and we do all of that. <laughs> a little bit of administration work there. Yeah. Like bro, it. put that on the screen right no, no, now, will, so will, you will. guys know that we got permission from that. Yeah, yeah. You know what we'll I mean? mock it, we'll mock it, we'll, we'll mock, mock it, Now, as I've mentioned at Queen Mary, the medicine subtopics sort of do split up. So it splits up into like cancer, global health, cell biology so far. And right now, me recording this, I'm on week four. But there's so many other topics like pharmacology, locomotor, histology, cardiorespiratory. So you might be confused why sometimes I'm here with Abu Torab. He is a biomedical student, but there is a lot of crossover when it comes to like anatomy and cell biology by default. And as a doctor, there's a lot of crossover, especially when it comes to courses such as radiography, biomedical sciences and like nursing. Inshallah being a doctor will give me a comprehensive understanding of the human body in order to facilitate accurate diagnosis and yeah that's basically the medical standard answer you know the interview ones and even although me and Abu Torab don't necessarily study the same thing we have a friendship that was pre-existing and hopefully will last for a long time there's many aspects in which I learned from Abu Torab and he learns from me and especially as someone who tries to submit his will to the will of almighty God having a good friend who can help you do that is such an an amazing thing so him and Dethenix and if you don't know who Dethenix is he's the real captain but more specifically into what I'm studying this week it's about cancer and the molecular basis of cancer so we cover topics such as angiogenesis differentiation of cells the presence of oncogenes tumor suppressor genes growth factors such as HER2 as well as the apoptotic pathways and mutations which occur in different conditions causing lipoma fibroma cancers whilst also understanding the difference between the classification of cancers whilst also knowing the metastasis in greater detail which covers the intravastation and extravastation and I'm honestly not going to shy away from it I honestly believe to the depths of my heart all of this just shows design and knowledge from a all-powerful being now some will associate this with probabilistic theories that are to be written by the next scientific paradigm shift as mentioned by Stephen Gold and I associate this complexity and the amazingness to none other than the creator the God al -ilah, Allah now in Arabic we have a testimony La ilaha illallah that there's no one worthy to be worshipped in truth except God also known as La ma'buda bi haqqin illallah and the way that this helps me study is that it allows me to develop that gratefulness knowing what God has done for me and you so yeah that's basically an insight to the Qunjista Alright so basically Torab Torab where are you going? Are we not going to Oxygen we're going to Jamaat? Prayer room so I was mocking it because it's raining. Oh, so if the um, camera gets wet, then Torab is in debt. How much? Is it 14 million dollars? 14 million dollars. Shush, man. Allow it, but. Are you a boy? Is that locked up? What? No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think it should be. Basically, I'll show you what you can see right now. Um, no, I don't think it should be. It could definitely be the case. You know what, the 10 bit is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can't lie to you still. Because people can actually revise even in there. Mm. Torab, are you wearing hijab? A Niqab. Man. Hey, look at that dead trim. Bro, I didn't get a trim, man. Okay, so inshallah, right now is gonna be the door's time. You know what I'm Because Torab's a Muslimic. For all time's sake, obviously, you can see right now Torab's rushing. Are you rushing over the sisters? Basically, right now we're in the prayer place, and you probably know you've probably seen it. 
Alhamdulillah. It looks good, and obviously this is, you know, potentially our second place of being, especially when it comes to not studying, and obviously Tarab's there. I'm going to give a little bit of a Quran recitation just to end off the video. Not even end it off, because I know we've got the other things that I need to do today. But, you know, you might enjoy it, you might not, but, you know. Alright, so inshallah ta'ala. Um, let me just fix this up. No, sh no stress time. There's not millions of people watching you. Stop. I right, go for it, bro. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna fatahna laka fatham mubeen. ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك سرعت مستقيما وينصرك الله نسر عزيزا هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم ولله جنود السماوات والأرض وكان الله عليما حكيما. How is that one? Is that good, yeah? May Allah bless you. May Allah bless him, the big man. And we shall end it up there.